Hi, I'm Philip from Optimize Lab, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use bold text within Google Ads. Now, why would you want to be using bold text within your ads? Well, what we know is that you will see higher click through rates when you're using bold text, and you can see click through rates that are 11 to 19 percent proportionally higher when you're using bold bold text compared to ads that are not using bold text. Um, however, there are also disadvantages to using this particular method that I'm going to show you, which I'll discuss with you also. So firstly, how have I added bold text to this ad? If we look at this example in the headline, 10% is in bold, in the description, 10% return and also fixed are in bold. So the way that's been done is by using a particular font. Um, and we can access that when we go to this website, which is um, which has a Unicode text converter. And I'll put the link to this website in the description of this video. And you can access this, um, sorry, you can access this website and then type in the text you'd like to be boldened. Um, so we're just gonna put in 10% return as an example here and click show. And then we're gonna select the fourth one down, Math Bold. That is the font that's compatible with Google Ads. And we're gonna copy that. And then this can be used, this can be pasted within the ad. So it's been pasted here as an example. Um, and we can then save that ad and begin using that bold text. Now, a few tips. Um, you should be very sparing with how many words that you use to bolden, because as you'll notice, um, there's a change uh, when you're using this, there's a change in the number of characters you're using within your ad because this font uses more characters um, than using the standard font. So if I just type in 10% return here, just in normal fault, you'll see that the number of characters out of 90 being used is only 60. However, when we use the new font, that goes up to 84. So there's 24 additional characters just by us using the boldened font. And that is one of the downsides to using this. You now have less space within your um, headlines and descriptions. Um, and so you need to be more sparing. Um, so that's one of the downsides. Um, so to get around that or to not let that impede uh, the, your use of ad copy too much, what I'd recommend is that you, if you're using uh, the bolded font within your headlines, only bolden one word. Don't try and bolden too many of the words because otherwise you won't have any space. Um, then for your descriptions, only bolden one or two or maybe three words. Um, don't try to go further than that. You won't have enough space. Um, now, also a tip is that you should bolden the part of your ad copy which differentiates you from your competitors. Whatever is differentiating you, whatever your USP is, that's what you should be boldening because that's what's going to get you to high click-through rates. Um, another potential disadvantage, is, uh, disadvantage from using this is that it can um, potentially impact your quality score. So what I'd recommend doing is setting up your ads, um, setting up uh, some of your ads within each ad group or one ad per ad group with the bolder text and then test, test across your ad groups, test across your campaigns and see what impact it has. Does it increase your click through rates and does it have an impact potentially on your quality score? So test for each specific campaign and see what impact it has. Always be testing, testing, testing and see what the impact is. Now you can also um, add this bolded text to your ad extensions. So I've got an example here, a site link extension, and you can see here we also have 10% returns mentioned within this site link. So what we can go ahead and do is paste this in. And what you can see is that it's now over the character limit. So what we can do there is just to take uh, the word return and put that in normal text. So now we're only um, boldening the 10% um, part of this site link extension, um, but that will help it 
to stand out. It will help it to get a higher click-through rate. Um, so I hope that this uh, video has been informative and will help you to increase the um, click-through rates of your ads and help you get better performance. Uh, if this video has been informative, then feel free to subscribe for additional tips and advice to help you manage your Google Ads campaigns and increase the profitability that you're seeing from your campaigns. Thanks for watching.